welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the if function with C++. It's pretty simple. It's basic. It's great for beginners. First we want to start up with a new Win32 console application. And today the project I had in mind was to count t-shirts. Uh, this is where you will give a discount to a customer that will buy more t-shirts. So I'm going to call it shirts. Overview application settings, I'll click empty project again. And from here you can add a new item. And make sure you select the CPP file here. I'll call it shirts one again. Here you get a blank CPP file. As always, you should always sign it. Put your name there. I'm going to call it shirt count. Uh, we start up with something standard, such as sharp include IO stream. You won't need math age for this one. You won't be using anything like that. Using namespace standard and void main. You can use int main again, but I like using void main. You open it and make sure you close it somewhere so you don't forget later on. We're gonna need a few variables. We'll call let's say integer. We'll call t-shirts. Let's say shirts. And then float. We'll say dollar. Uh, the only reason I'm using integers here and float here is because integers don't doesn't allow decimal points and we can't have half a shirt dollar we have dollar signals I mean dollar um, decimals we have cents you would want to prompt them to enter the amount of t-shirts they want to buy make sure you end it and on CN we would say shirts now we come to the if functions. Let's see. We'll see if if shirts is greater than or equal to. Actually, let's say um, less than or equal to five. Five. Then we would calculate dollar equals to shirts times 10. That means if the shirts is 5 or less, then it will be the amount of shirts, let's say 5 times 10, it'll be $50. Otherwise, let's say, we'll say else, else dollar equals shirts times 8. We give them a $2 discount if they buy more than 5 shirts. See out. We'll say shirts. This will display the amount of shirts. Will cost you. Will cost you. Uh, let's say dollar. And then end line to end line. And then we'll do system. And let's run it. It's still giving me the system not found error. Oh. Sorry about that. I had to fix the system post. I don't know why it's not taking it when I type it in. I have to copy and paste it from my older projects but let's try this out press F5 to debug and let's see number of shirts we said if it's less than five equal to less than five it will be ten dollars so let's put five that's fifty dollars sounds about right let's run it let's say if it's more than five it should be eight dollars a piece let's say ten that's eighty dollars that's correct so the if and else else functions allow you to have more than one 
possible answer. Pass a possible outcome, that is. If you didn't have this function here, then every t-shirt would be worth $10 if you didn't have this. And you would want to give your customers something to come back for. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, watch out for more to come.